If you'll open your planning page, you will remember that we put in some subheadings. These subheadings, um, or actually I shouldn't say these subheadings, this page is a little bit longer than all the others, um, and it has subheadings. So what we want to do is we want to make what is called anchor links that are going to link to the different parts of the page. So I want to start off by highlighting um, a file organization. And then I want to name this part of the page. And I can do it by putting in code, or I can go up to the Insert menu and choose Named Anchor. Now, to the key to the Named Anchor is we want to make these one word, and we just want to make them short and make them descriptive of that area. So I'm going to call that File and click OK. And it actually deleted that. So instead of highlighting it, put your mouse in front of the word File. Then we'll insert our named anchor that we will call File. There. Now it's right next to it. Okay. And you can see the anchor there. So then we'll come down here to target audience, put your cursor before the word target, insert, named anchor. We'll go ahead and call this one target. Flowchart and storyboard. We will name this one flow. And then the last part, pulling it all together, insert, named anchor, and we'll call this pull. Okay? So now all of those places are named. So now what we want to do is we want to create links that are going to go to those places. So I'm going to come up here to planning and I'm going to hit return. And I'm going to type the word file organization. Then I will hit shift return and type in target audience. Now shift return, as you can see, puts in a BR tag as opposed to just return, which does a paragraph tag. Um, the next part, flowchart, flowchart, storyboard, and then pulling it together. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight file organization and come down here to the link. Linking to a named place on the page is just a little bit different than to another page itself. What I'm going to do is um, click in this link and I'm going to put in the pound sign or the hashtag and then file because if you recall I named that section file. Then I'm going to go to target audience, hashtag target flowchart and storyboard hashtag flow and then pulling it all together hashtag pull okay so I want to do one more thing because these need to be set apart a little bit differently than all the others I'm gonna come in here and in my code before the ahref, okay, so it's between, right before that, I'm going to put in what is called a non-breaking space. So if I do the ampersand, nbsp, semicolon, see how it's popping up? I'm going to put in, um, I think, five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Yep, five. And so then I can highlight those five and I can copy and I'll put it before each of the others. And it's it's only it's only the ones that are, are these that go to the subheadings. And it's so that they'll be indented a little bit just to bring it out, um, bring it to your attention that they're there. Okay? None of the other pages have it, so we're just gonna leave those alone. And now if I hit save, I should be able to go to preview it and 
you can see how it goes down to that part. Now if your page is full size like mine, because we have such big screens, you may want to reduce your browser size so that you can actually see that they work. Okay, so those are working for us and you can end this video and move on to the next one.